In today's class, we will discuss derivation of Cauchy's integral formula, evaluation of complex integrals using Cauchy's theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. First, let me revisit Cauchy's theorem. It says, if f of z is analytic in this region, bounded by the closed curve C, then integration of f of z over the closed curve C is 0. By using this, we can look into this corollary 2. This is what it says. If f of z is analytic in the region D, between two simple closed curves C and C1, then integration of f of z over C and C1 are same. First, let me try to understand the hypothesis. It says, you have two closed curves C and C1 in such a way that C1 lies entirely within C and your f of z is analytic in this annular region. Now, we need to prove integration over C is same as integration over C1. For that, let me introduce a line connecting these two curves with A is the point on C, B is the point on C1. Now I am going to introduce a cut on this line to have the curve of this kind. Now I am going to consider this closed curve. To have that one, I am introducing P and Q are the two points on C. R and S are the two points introduced on C1. Now consider A, P, Q, A, B, R, S, B, A. You can note that this represents this entire closed region. This represents this entire closed region and if I want to find the integration of this f of z over this closed curve is definitely equal to 0 because f of z is analytic in this region as well as on its boundary. By using Cauchy's theorem, the value of this integral has to be 0. Further, we know that integration from a to s is what? Integration from a to b plus integration from b to s. So with that, I will rewrite this one as integration from a to a with along this curve a p q a plus integration from a to b plus integration from b to b on this r and s p r s b plus integration from b to a that is equal to 0. This a p q a represents this outer curve and this a b represents this line and BRSB represents inner curve but it is in the opposite direction. So, this integration should be integration from BSRB and this represents C1 for us. And integration from B to A can be written as minus integration from A to B. So, obviously these two will get cancelled to have integration over C f of z and since this is C1, this is equal to integration over C1 f of z t z. We just proved that if f of z is analytic in the annular region between the two closed curves c and c1, then integration over c is same as integration over c1. And this one will help us in deriving the Cauchy's integral formula. And Cauchy's integral formula states this, if f of z is analytic within and on a simple closed curve c, and a is any point within c, so this is what they are saying f of z is analytic in this region including at the point z is equal to a and a is this point a is the point which lies entirely within this curve if that is the case integration of look at the integrand it is f of z by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i f of a now if you look into the integrand there is no issue from f of z because it is analytic in this region the problem is with z minus a so because z minus a is present in the denominator when z becomes a denominator becomes 0 so f of z by z minus a is not analytic at the point z is equal to a but you can note that in this region other than the point z is equal to a in remaining all points the function this integrand is analytic so what we will do now we are making use of corollary 2 to use that one i am introducing a small circle with a as the center of that circle okay now c1 is a circle with center at a and the radius r units now this f of z by z minus a this becomes analytic in this annular region so by corollary 2 integration over c should be same as integration over c1 for this analytic function 
so that is what i have written here but c1 represents what a circle mod z minus a equal to r which means z minus a equal to what r e power i theta so z is equal to a plus r e power i theta and we know for a given circle radius is always constant so theta is the variable dz becomes r is constant kept as it is differentiation of e power i theta is i e power i theta d theta and theta varies from 0 to 2 pi for a circle now substitute everything back in this integral that gives integration from 0 to 2 pi f of a plus r e power i theta z minus a is r e power i theta dz is written here r e power i theta cancels here we get i times this is kept as it is but you can note that if you just come back to this you can make this r you can take this you can just make this r as small as possible because the function is not only analytic in this region the function is also analytic in this region because we know that integrand is not analytic only at this point here so what i will do now i will take this r as close as possible to this a so as r is becoming almost zero you can note this expression almost becomes f of a so integration of one becomes theta now that is between the limit 0 and 2 pi so your answer is 2 pi i f of a or it is 2 pi i f of a so which means what this Cauchy's integral formula says that you have a function f of z analytic in this entire region with a lies within this curve if that is the case f of z by z minus a is the integrand then integration over the closed curve c is given by 2 pi i f of a now let me try to understand this with respect to the problems now i want to integrate f of z by z minus a over some closed curve c if this is the case we need to check whether this integrand is analytic or not first because if this point here lies inside the curve we have a problem because only at the point z is equal to a this is not analytic so if this point a itself lies outside the curve then there is no issue for us this integrand is analytic in this region as a result Cauchy's theorem is valid and the value of this integral still becomes zero okay what we are supposed to do you identify this whether this point here lies inside the curve or outside the curve if the point here lies outside the curve you claim the value of the integral is zero by using Cauchy's theorem if the point A lies inside this curve like this, in that case, you should use Cauchy's integral formula to write the answer 2 pi i f of a. That's good. Now the question, one more question arises. You have just z minus a in the denominator, it's fine. If you have got z minus a over part 2 or z minus a over part 3, in that case, what I'm supposed to do? In that case, I should use generalized Cauchy's integral formula. This is what this theorem the result says if f of z is analytic within and on a simple closed curve c and a is any point within c this is the hypothesis of cauchy's integral formula i need to prove f of z by z minus a whole power an integer dz n is the positive integer here equal to 2 pi i it is n minus 1th derivative of f of z okay n minus 1th derivative of f of z in which replace z by a divided by n minus 1 factorial this is what the answer is now this is how it is proved but i am not doing the complete proof part of it i want you people to try i will show it only for z minus a whole square in this case okay now with respect to this hypothesis Cauchy's integral formula is valid that's what I've written here. Now, if I differentiate this with respect to a by assuming a as a parameter, this gives left hand side is f dash of a, that is first derivative of f with respect to a, that is equal to 1 by 2 pi i. And when you take the derivative inside the integral sign, there is no issue here because the differentiation is with respect to a and integration is with respect to z. So, these two will not going to cancel here. Differentiation and integration are not cancelled. Instead, I can take d by d, d a inside the integral sign and this becomes partial derivative. The reason is the integrand is made up of z and a, two variables. And we are differentiating with respect to single variable. So, we are supposed to get what partial derivative. So, it is a partial derivative of 1 by z minus a with respect to a. 
that gives minus 1 by z minus a whole square into differentiation of z minus a that is just minus 1. So minus into minus plus so it is f of z divided by z minus a whole square dz. So this is what you can note with respect to f dash f dash and here it is 2 so 2 minus 1 factorial and this is 2 you have here. So if you want to find f double dash or if you want to have 3 here you are supposed to differentiate this again with respect to a and you show it for f double dash of a and f triple dash then you can say if you just continue differentiation like this you will end up with this result. You people please try that part from your side. Now before going further I just wanted to talk about one more definition called definition of singular point. So singular point is a a point in the complex plane at which the function is not analytic simple a point in the complex plane at which the function is not analytic is called a singular point okay we'll come back to this one now with this so let me just uh, before getting into the problems let me just look into this modulus of z minus a equal to r what does it represents it represents a circle with center at a and radius r units. So, but what is the meaning of mod z minus a equal to r? This says that the distance between z and a is what r. So, it is mod z minus a equal to r represents set of all those points in the complex plane which are at the distance r from the point a. So, now why I am discussing this one? So I am discussing this one because in most of the problems the closed curve see what they are going to give will be a circle. If that is the case instead of drawing the circle each time is it possible for us to use this formula itself to check whether that point lies inside the circle or outside the circle that is what I want to discuss. For that if I, po if I consider a point B inside this circle I want to know the distance between these two. And if the distance between these two points is less than r, we should climb the radius. The point, the distance between these two points is less than the radius, which means the point lies inside the circle. For that, what I am supposed to do now, mod z minus a gives the distance between z and a. In the place of z, if I place b, what does it give? The distance between b minus a, b and a. And if it is less than 0, obviously it will be less than r for us. So we can climb the point b lies inside the circle. If a point, consider the point k, you can note that modulus of k minus a definitely it will be greater than the radius. So that says the point k lies outside the circle. And further, sometimes what happens, I need to find the modulus means I need to know what is modulus of x plus i y. I will, well, let me discuss about that. You people know this already. I need not to discuss it again, but I am just uh, recalling the, that expression. Modulus of x plus i y is given by what? Square root of x square plus y square. If that is the case, modulus of x is just x. Modulus of i y is just y. Because modulus of i y becomes what? Square root of real part is 0. 0 square plus imaginary part is y square. Square root of y square just becomes y. That is what I have written here. Okay. So, please remember them. Now, let me start with our first example. Evaluate z square minus z plus 1 by z minus 1 over the closed curve C, where C is given by the two problems are considered here. The first case mod z is equal to half. This represents what? A circle. This represents a circle with center at 0 and radius 1 by 2 units. In this case, the problem is from what? This point A. Because z square minus z plus 1 is an analytic function, f of z, it's an analytic function a equal to 1 is the singular point this z minus a this one is the singular point now the question is whether this one lies inside the curve or outside the curve here we can note that 1 comma 0 it's a point on this x-axis that lies outside this circle because this point represents 1 by 2 comma 0 because the distance between 0 and the circle is the origin uh, center and this circle is 1 by 2 so the point 1 comma 0 outside the circle so which means there is no problem for this one this completely uh, analytic in this region so and that can be seen with the formula what I, which I told mod z minus a this is mod z minus a equal to r put a equal to 1 a equal to 
uh, put a is put z equal to a in it. A is one in this case. Put z is equal to one. We got modulus of one is one, which is greater than one by two, which means the point lies outside. Okay. From next problem onwards, I'm not writing the curve. I'm using this point directly. Okay. That says one lies outside C. So this whole integrand becomes analytic. So value of the integral is zero. That's all. Consider the second case now. For the second case, this is the point one comma zero. This a, this lies inside the circle, and three by two comma zero. So this is the distance between center and the uh, circle. So this distance is three by two because the radius is three by two in this case. So obviously one comma zero lies inside the circle, and that can be checked even with this. Modulus of one is one, which is less than one point five. So one lies inside C. So then what is my f of z? Only the numerator is the analytic function for us, because we have a problem. We have an issue with the denominator. So z minus one, one by z minus one is not the analytic function. So this is my f of z. So this reduces to this form: f of z by z minus a dz. Now by using Cauchy's integral formula, it is two pi i f of one. So a is one. So f of z is there here. Put z equal to one. That gives one square minus one plus one. That is just two pi i. I hope. So things are simple here. The first thing is what you need to identify the singular points. Next, you identify those points lies outside the curve or inside the curve. Lies outside the curve, Cauchy's theorem. Lies inside the curve, Cauchy's integral formula. Let me look into this problem. So this uses, yeah. So this uses generalized Cauchy's integral formula. Here, pi by two is the point at which denominator is zero. So pi by two is a singular point here. Now consider modulus of pi by two minus one. I told you that put z is equal to pi by two and check the distance between those two points. Modulus of pi by two minus one is. You can just check out with the calculator. It is modulus of zero point five seven zero eight. Modulus of x is what? X and that one is less than the radius. So this point lies inside the curve C. So what is the analytic function in this case then? Only z cos z. So this can be written as f of z by z minus pi by two whole cube d z, and this is given by two pi i f double dash. That is f f power three minus one. Three minus one means two. So two time differentiation of f of z divided by three minus one factorial. So two two cancels pi i f double dash of pi by two. First let me write what is f double dash of z. F of z is z cos z. Differentiate this one. Z into differentiation of cos plus cos into differentiation of z. F double dash of z is minus z into differentiation of sine minus sine z into differentiation of z plus differentiation of cos z. And this is what the expression is. Now substitute pi by two in it. We know cos pi by two is zero, sine pi by two is one, so it gives minus two. Substitute this value back in it. That gives minus two pi i. That is what the answer is. Okay, so this is how any problem under this heading works. So just need to identify this. Identify the singular point. Just check whether this singular point lies inside the curve or outside the curve. Inside the curve, Cauchy's integral formula. Outside the curve, Cauchy's theorem. Okay. Sometimes your problem may be like this: phi of z divided by z minus a whole power n, z minus b power n dz, where phi of z is analytic, z equal to a and z equal to b are singular points. Okay. Now, here if you take uh, n equal to zero. So this z minus b power zero becomes one. If you take m is equal to one, this reduces to Cauchy's integral formula form. Or if m and n both are zeros, it will be Cauchy's theorem should be used. Now let me just look into if the problems are given like this. If the product of two factors are there, and we find both are causing the problem because both are carrying the singular points in them. So in that case, how to handle it? Let me look into our case number one. A and b. 
are singular points but they lies outside the curve if that is the case problem is very simple the whole integrand becomes what analytic so value of the integral is zero suppose if this point a lies inside and b lies outside in that case what happens so this is problem causing right so pi of z by z minus b power whole power n becomes my analytic function okay leaving the problem causing factor remaining function should be considered as what analytic function so i'm supposed to evaluate what f of z divided by z minus a whole power m d z if m is equal to 1 use cauchy's uh, int uh, cauchy's integral formula if m is greater than 1 use generalized cauchy's integral formula to have your answer and same thing happens instead of uh, a inside c if you have got b inside c and a lies outside c in that case what i'm supposed to do pi of z by z minus a power m that becomes analytic so you are going to consider f of z by z minus b power n in that case to evaluate find the value of the integration suppose if both a and b lies inside c now the real problem arises because in these cases we didn't have any issues we could have used either cauchy's theorem or cauchy's integral formula but here here we can find only phi of z is the analytic function but the in the denominator we have got two factors and cauchy's integral formula is not supporting us in handling so if that is the situation i am supposed to use partial fraction for these two factors and i should write it in this form z for z minus a power m i am supposed to get four sorry i am supposed to get m terms z f of z by z minus a z minus a whole square z minus a whole power m and here we are going to get n terms z minus b z minus b square z minus b whole cube and so on up to z minus b power n that is resolve the denominator that is 1 by z minus a power m into z minus b power n into partial fractions and afterwards multiply throughout by pi of z and integrate over c to have your integration and integration value for this one and this one you are supposed to use Cauchy's integral formula for the remaining integrals you are supposed to use generalized Cauchy's integral formula okay but please keep this in mind you are going into the partial fractions provided both the points both the points lies inside the curve if one of the point lies outside there is no need for us to use partial fractions we can directly write the answer please note this this is very very important point okay let me try to understand this through this example and before getting into the example let me write let me see how do we write the partial fractions 1 by z minus a into z plus b that can be written as what it's the linear factors a by z minus a plus b by z plus b suppose if we have got z plus b whole square i told you people already i'm supposed to get two terms from this one that is a by z minus a b by z plus b plus c by z plus b whole square you can note that if you take the lcm of these two it will be z plus b whole square only so that is what we are trying to do that is we are assuming that we got this expression by taking the lcm of this one and this one along with this okay if you got z minus a whole cube i should get three terms from this one z minus a z minus a whole square and z minus a whole cube plus d by z plus b so in these kind of problems finding the values of this a b c d itself is very very important for us because the remaining things are very simple Okay, let me try to understand through this example here e part 2z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 is there three problems are given first one is mod z equal to 1 by 2 mod z equal to 3 by 2 is the second one and the third one is mod z is equal to 3 first of all 1 and 2 are the singular points in this case now consider the first case substitute a equal to 1 here and a equal to 2 so modulus of 1 is 1 which is greater than 1 by 2 modulus of 2 is also greater than 1 by 2 that says 1 and 2 both lies outside the curve so which means what is my analytic function so the whole integrand is analytic so your answer is 0 by using Cauchy's theorem now if I consider the second curve put z equal to 1 that is modulus of 1 is less than 1.5 whereas modulus of 2 is greater than 1.5 so which means 1 lies inside c and 2 lies outside c so if i told you people already problem leaving the problem causing factor 
consider the remaining function as analytic function. So it should be e part 2z by z minus 2 is the analytic function. So my integration looks like this. This is f of z divided by z minus 1. This is the form f of z by z minus a with a lies inside. So answer should be what? 2 pi i f of a. a is 1. So it is substitute z equal to 1 in it. So it gives 2 pi i e square divided by 1 minus 2 that gives this answer. I hope you people are comfortable with this. That's fine. So if you come to the third problem, mod z equal to 3, just check for both. Put z equal to 1 in it, 1 is less than 3, 2 is also less than 3, which means both the points lies inside the circle. So we need to go for the partial fraction now because e part 2z is the only analytic function here. So I need to find integration of f of z by z minus 1 into z minus 2. So now consider 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2, put it in partial fractions. That is a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 2. Multiply throughout by z minus 1 into z minus 2. That gives 1 equal to a times z minus 2 because z minus 1 will get cancelled here. And when you multiply it to this one, z minus 2 will get cancelled, you will just remain with z minus 1. If I put z is equal to 1, this term is gets cancelled and we get the value of a which is minus 1. If I put z equal to minus, if I put z equal to 2, this is cancelled and we get the value of b that is 1. Substitute a and b back in this. Now multiply throughout by f of z and integrate. So that makes it minus f of z by z minus 1 with the integration and f of z by z minus 2 over the same curve c. And since 1 and 2 both lies inside c, use the Cauchy's integral formula. So it is minus 2 pi i f of 1. This is 2 pi i f of 2. So we know what is f of z here. It is e power 2 z put z equal to 1, put z equal to 2. So and simplification, this is what your answer is. So this is how any problem under this setting works. Now let me try to understand this with the next formula, next problem. Okay, here mod z equal to 3 is given and 1 and 2 are the singular points in this case. And we can note that both 1 and 2 lies inside C because modulus of 1 and modulus of 2 both are less than 3. So which means sin pi z square plus cos pi z square is my analytic function. So no option, we are supposed to go for the partial fraction. Z minus 1 whole square is there, I should get two terms and 1 by z minus c by z minus 2. So now multiply throughout by z minus 1 whole square into z minus 2, left hand side just becomes 1 and I'm just, I'm just cross multiplying it. So 1 z minus 1 cancels, we will get z minus 1 into z minus 2 z minus 1 whole square is cancelled so it is b into z minus 2 z minus 2 is cancelled so it is c into z minus 1 whole square if, if i put z is equal to 1 okay so this is cancelled and this one is cancelled we will get the value of b which is minus 1 if i put z is equal to 2 these two will get cancelled we will get the value of c which is 1 if I put some arbitrary value z equal to 0 because by choosing the value of z i can't make any term 0 here so any more term 0. So what I am doing now, I am choosing some arbitrary value z is equal to 0. But it is not mandatory. You can choose your own value for this. Okay, with this, after substituting in this one, so substitute the value of b and c in it. On simplification, you will get a is equal to minus 1. So a is minus 1, b is minus 1, c is plus 1. Substitute in this. Now multiply throughout by f of z and integrate it. And this one is minus 2 pi i f of 1. This one is what generalized integral formula should be used. That is minus 2 pi i f dash of 1 divided by 1 factorial. And this one is 2 pi i f of 2. So f of z is known which is cos pi z square plus sin pi z square. If I put z equal to 1, cos pi plus sin pi, cos pi is 1, sorry minus 1, sin pi is 0. f of 2 gives cos 4 pi and this is sin 4 pi. Sin 4 pi is 0, cos 4 pi is plus 1. I can substitute on this and in this place. 
but I want f dash of 1 for that differentiate this differentiation of cos pi z square is minus sin pi z square into differentiation of pi z square it is pi is kept as it is differentiation of z square is 2z and differentiation of sin pi z square is cos pi z square into differentiation of pi z square is 2 pi z so now substitute z is equal to 1 minute. that gives f dash of 1 is equal to minus 2 pi minus minus 2 pi sin pi and plus 2 pi cos pi so since cos pi is minus 1 so this becomes minus 2 pi since sin pi is 0 this term is 0 and substitute everything back in this and on simplification you will get your answer say so this is how any problem under this heading works so but still I just want to discuss about few more examples now have a look at this here I have got z square plus 2z plus 5 in the denominator you have a quadratic factor so if that is the case first reduce it into a linear factor by solving this quadratic equation I got this is z is equal to a and z is equal to b which means the two factors are what z minus a into z minus b that is what I have written here so this is my a and this is my b these are the singular points now determine substitute this value in this expression and determine whether this point lies inside or outside so this is what I have done here z is equal to minus 1 plus i2 and you found it is 1 which is less than the radius which means this point lies inside and if you come to this one this 3 is greater than 2 which lies outside so which means z minus 3 divided by this expression that becomes my f of z and this will be in the denominator with f of z now and by Cauchy's integral formula the value is 2 pi i times f of this expression and substitute z equal to minus 1 plus i2 in it simplify it you have your answer is pi times minus 2 plus i now in all these problems we took circle instead of that if I consider something else like in this problem I am choosing rectangle first of all have a look at the integrand I got z square minus 1 in the denominator first change it z plus 1 into z minus 1 now we have the issue with what minus 1 and plus 1 these are the singular points so now draw the rectangle first so the rectangle has got the 2 plus i 2 minus i minus 2 plus i minus 2 minus i as its vertices that is 2 comma 1 2 comma minus 1 minus 2 comma minus 1 minus 2 comma plus 1 these are the vertices of this rectangle and you can note a equal to minus 1 and b equal to 1 lies on this x axis and both lies inside the rectangle so no option only cos pi z is my analytic function I should use partial fraction for this one with that if I take z is equal to 1 so that gives b equal to of if I put z is equal to minus 1 that gives the value of a which is minus of substitute back in it multiply throughout by f of z and integrate that gives f of z by z plus 1 dz f of z by z minus 1 dz with a is minus of b is plus of and here z minus of minus 1 so it is 2 pi i f of minus 1 this one 2 pi i plus f of 1 2 2 cancels pi i f of minus 1 means cos of minus pi and this is cos of plus pi we know that cos of minus theta is just cos theta that gives minus pi i and cos theta or cos pi in this case is minus 1 so minus pi i and this is plus i i that makes it 0 but have a look at this one you got the value of the integration is 0 but it doesn't mean that this integrand is analytic so this speaks about the converse of the Cauchy's theorem I told you people very clearly converse of the Cauchy's theorem is not true that is value of the integral we got 0 doesn't mean that the integrand is analytic function it may be 0 because of some other reason so with the if whenever the integrand is analytic we have the value of the integration is 0 but integration value 0 doesn't imply the integrand is analytic okay next let me consider next example in this I am considering ellipse and here i is there put x is equal to 0 
and y is equal to 1 you can note the value is less than 1 so minus 1 put x equal to minus 1 that once again with y equal to 0 less than 1 put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 that once again says that point lies inside this ellipse okay so these are the three points lying within c which means these are the singular points for us i need to find the value of this zeta is nothing but i minus 1 minus i for for each of this point uh, we can note it is uh, for each of these points are singular points only okay so which means 4 z square plus z plus 5 is the analytic function here and f of z f of zeta is known i want f dash of minus 1 f double dash of minus i which means i want f dash of zeta and f double dash of zeta when i am deriving the cauchy's generalized cauchy's, cauchy's integral formula i explained you how to differentiate with respect to a in the same lines it is differentiated here and with that you got f dash of zeta equal to this and if you differentiate it again with respect to zeta this is what you are going to get okay it is 2 times integration of f of z by z minus zeta whole cube d z i have f of z f dash of z and f double dash of sorry f of zeta f dash of zeta and f double dash of zeta now put z equal to i in it so this is nothing but what i is the point which lies inside c so by using cauchy's integral formula it is equal to 2 pi i f of i a is i in this case so it is 2 pi i substitute i z equal to i in it and if you simply the phi that one it gives 1 plus i now in this one put z is equal, zeta equal to minus 1 and look at this integrand is of the form f of z by z minus a whole power n which means it is generalized Cauchy's integral formula should be used that is 2 pi i f dash of minus 1 so f dash of minus 1 find the differentiation of this one that is 8 z plus 1 put z is equal to minus 1 that is minus 8 plus 1 that is minus 7 into 2 that is minus 14 pi i and further in this one substitute zeta equal to minus i this gives this expression this is 2 pi i times f double dash of minus i divided by 2 factorial so 2 factorial and this 2 cancels it is 2 pi i so first let me find f double dash of z that is 8 so replace z by minus i in this it just still remains 8 because it's just a constant so it gives 8 to the 16 pi i okay i think you people are comfortable with cauchy's integral formula and the problems on it you will find some more problems in the notes so please go through them and if you have any doubts so please come back thank you all